Hello everyone, I'm Steven Snake Uke Lindsay. Today's tutorial is on masking. Some of you may know what masking is, but don't know how to use it. For the rest of you that don't know what it is, it's actually two different things. The first one is somewhat of a cookie cutter option where we cut out one shape from a different shape. So in this example, we have our red circle for the body of our evil Pac-Man and we have cut out from it a triangle. So as we can see, it's actually cut out because our character right here can be seen through. It's not just a white cover over it to give it the illusion that it's cut out. The other one is it allows us to create an object in the shape of a different object. So in this, we created black triangles. But as you can tell, our triangles here, they're not completely black. So it'll take a little bit of effort to change it around. Not a whole lot, mind you, because this is really easy and after a while, you'll be able to do it without really even thinking. So we'll start out with our body of Pac-Man, our evil Pac-Man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our triangle in the shape of the mouth because we want it to cut out from the triangle, or not triangle, we want the triangle to be cut out into the circle from the shape of the triangle. I just confused myself. So this looks about right for our mouth. So the one we want to select first and click on is the one we want something cut out from. So think of it as your dough if you're using the cookie cutter analogy. So we cook, click on that first. I was still thinking of cookies. So we click on that and then we click on our mask object button over here. So it should come up, select an element to be used as a mask. So the one we want to choose is our cookie cutter, so to speak, which is our triangle. So we click on that and it's cut out. It's not really important to our masking part, but as we're creating an evil Pac-Man, we need some angry and evil eyes. So that should do. So the next thing we're gonna do is create the black horns. So we need the triangle array and put it in the shape that we want for our horns. So eh, that's about right. So since we want our horns to be black, we need a black shape. We could go for the black circle or the black square. I'm gonna go with the black square because it's a little bit more convenient for me. So we're gonna put the black square, cover it over, put it to the back. Now this is important to remember. You wanna select the object first that you want to be in the shape of the other object. So we want our black square to become in the shape of the triangle. So we click on our black square first, click our mask, and then click on the triangle. Now you might be saying, well, that doesn't look like what it is over there. I mean, if we put that on its head, it looks really stupid. We're not completely done yet. What we're gonna do is we're going to click on our masked object, which is our object right over here. And we're gonna click on right here where it says set masking to mask up here. So we click on that and then it becomes a black triangle. So to finish it off, we have that horn. Then we have a horn in the back. So we send that to the back. So there we go, we have our evil Pac-Man. So let's say you happen to not like one of your mask objects. What would you do then? So let's say you're not pleased with the body. You want the mouth to be a little bit different. So you click on said masked object and over here should be an X. So click on that and it will revert it back to that. So then of course you can change it as you want to. So let's raise it up, uh, go like this. Go like this, and then we'll mask it again just for the heck of it. So there we go. We've been able to understand masking and all that. So now you should be able to hopefully apply it to other stuff, and you may have an object that you want right now to put in your library, the evil Pac-Man. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you out, and hopefully it's helped you to be able to mask several different objects and not just evil Pac-Man. So our next tutorial will combine what you've learned from this tutorial and our previous tutorial, which was using opacity to create different colors. And it'll combine those two together to be able to create Kirby. That's right, Kirby. You may not really like him. You may want him to die. But with this, you'll be able to create him. You'll learn the abilities of using opacity and masking together. And if you really want to, you can blow Kirby up. Also, if you like this video, please rate it, 
comment it, fave it, tell your friends that use SG or anyone that really has any questions about this at all.